As all of you are aware, the Gaganyan program was announced by Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, on 15th August 2018. The program is meant for taking Indian Gaganyatris to space using Indian rocket and bring them back safely. In order to take human beings to the space, a lot of development has to be done. Number one, we have to human rate our launch vehicle. Human rating means improving the reliability of launcher by enhancing the margin and improving the redundancy. Already we have completed this development by human rating our LVM-3 rocket. Second major development is the crew module in which the human being has to be taken to the space. This module has to have lot of provisions including environmental control and safety system. Environmental control and safety systems are meant for maintaining required pressure, required temperature, required relative humidity, controlling the carbon dioxide within the permissible limit. All these things have to be done. This is done automatically using set of hardware and software. This development, we are in the advanced stage. Third major development is when the human being or Gaganyatris are in the space or during travel, if anything happens to them, they should be saved safely. So we have to develop a crew escape system. Crew escape system has to move faster than the rocket speed and so that we can save the people. This development is nearing completion. In fact, we have done a lot of experiments, lot of demonstrations are carried out. Next important thing is the launch vehicle takes the human being to 170 kilometer from here. From there, they have to be taken to 400 kilometer using a propulsion system. Also, we have to maintain them in the orbit safely. All those developments are completed. During the return journey, we have to bring them by reducing the velocity. We have, they will be rotating with the velocity of 28,000 to 30,000 kilometer per hour. And they have to be brought back by reducing this velocity and they have to land with very low velocity, splashed down rather, yeah. inside the sea with low velocity. So towards the last phase, nine parachutes are essential for flashing down safely with the required conditions. In fact, recently, last month, we have demonstrated the parachute performance by taking a module to three kilometer by a helicopter, Chinook helicopter, and we have left the module and it came and successfully landed. And a lot more experiment has to be done. Till today, I will say 85% work is completed. Now, another important aspect is training of the crew module and development of the crew-related system, including food, their parachute, then um, all safety aspect, everything has to be done. And this program is a national program, not only ISRO program. Uh, DRDO is working with us. Then Air Force is working, and after, after they splashed on, they have to be recovered. The Air Force, and then uh, our Navy, and it is a national program. We are also working with industries, academia, and R&D laboratories of various organizations we are working. Right now, we are in the advanced stage. Now, I will say we are in the final, final leg. This year, December, we are going to send the first uncrewed mission, and in which, in which we are going to send the half humanoid called Biomitra. Instead of human being, we are going to send a half humanoid. And once this is successful, next year, two uncrewed missions will be accomplished. Yeah. Followed by 2027, first quarter, we are targeting to send our own Gaganyatri to space and bring them back safely. And Gaganyatris are already selected. They have undergone training. And we are getting ready for our own mission. <laughs>